Way back in 2008, I was lucky enough to catch a really early screening of the first Paranormal Activity. So I managed to catch it before all the hype hit it, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was one of the scariest movies I'd ever seen. I slept with the lights on like I was five years old again. It was that scary to me. I was also lucky because I saw it before it got bought out by a major studio, and they changed the ending. So that was infuriating because the original ending was perfect and they went with uh, what was called the Spielberg suggested ending. Uh, Spielberg saw the film, he loved it, and the only thing that he wanted to do was change the ending. So they gave them X amount of dollars to go in and shoot a new ending and the new ending sucks. Unfortunately, that ending has become canon because that way they could have the franchise and it's been very successful for them. None of the movies cost very much, and they were able to churn out sequel after sequel, making them a decent profit. As what happens with a lot of long-running franchises, the longer they go, the quality starts to dip, the cost of the production start to rise, and the box office returns start to take a hit. So they're spending more money, and they're not making as much money. So with the sixth installment of the Paranormal Activity franchise, they decided that they are going to do a finale for the series. Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. It's going to answer all your questions, it's going to give you a definitive ending. This time around, though, they decided to go in a different direction, which seemed really odd for the last movie in a franchise for them to take a left turn. The biggest thing with the Paranormal Activity movies was that you never really saw the ghosts. There were things that happened, items got knocked over, people got dragged, there were shadows and that kind of stuff, but you never got that look well ghost dimension decided you know what let's show them the ghosts so they came up with this idea of having the movie filmed with a ghost camera uh yes a ghost camera there's a couple that moves into a house they have a young daughter and the one guy's brother has to live with them for a little while because he just got dumped by his girlfriend and the wife's friend is staying with them for a little while as well it's around Christmas time, so they're setting up decorations, and they find a box of VHS tapes and this really old-school VHS camera. Although it's the most advanced VHS camera ever. They open it up, and it looks like the inside of someone's Alienware PC. Oh, did I mention that the movie's in 3D? Because you won't forget that the movie's in 3D. I will say they overused the 3D, but... It did look very good. Anyway, the husband finds this camera, and he starts filming stuff around the house. With the original Paranormal Activity, they gave some time to get acquainted with the characters and a little bit of their personalities, and the weird stuff didn't start happening for a while. With this, first night with the camera is filming a ghost. The husband starts following this smoky thing around, and he can only see it when he's looking through this one special camera. He starts to watch the VHS tapes, which are of Katie and her sister from back when they were younger, from the previous movies, and they now can see into the future. So they're watching them in the past but the girls are talking about stuff that's happening now. Effectively creepy angle. Unfortunately, not done very well. Instead of focusing on maybe building up the tension, making it so that you were dreading every time they got to night, because nighttime is when the majority of things happen. They still had some stuff happen during the day, but nighttime was when shit went down. It seemed like they couldn't keep it in their pants. They had to jump to night. So it'd be like, oh, wow, we got these VHS tapes and there's crazy stuff happening. Brrr, nighttime. And then ghostly activity instantly. The daughter is talking to Toby, the demon from the series, and they just can't stop showing it whenever they get a chance. Oh, and the other thing, if there was a drinking game for how many times the camera got knocked over, you would be completely shit faced by the end. A big wasted thing with the movie was that they didn't really push the audio too much. One of the biggest things that scared the shit out of me with the original movie was how well they used the audio. Since they didn't have the money for a lot of fancy visual effects, they relied on audio stuff. So you would hear footsteps and running and creaking and doors opening and slamming shut. 
And that is a large part of what scared the shit out of me. With this, it was just quiet, 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 boo scare. And they telegraph the boo scare so much in this. There's a part in the movie where a window swings open and the wife goes over and she's like, I don't see anything. So you're just waiting. You're like, okay, as soon as she turns around, boo, and the ghost flies at the camera and knocks the guy over. I was laughing. I thought it was very funny. It was uh, a sadly unintentional comedy. There was a couple behind me that they were scared shitless because boo scares work for some people. They don't work on me at all. If you play a loud noise, it'll startle me. I might jump, but I'm not scared. I'm surprised. And I've said it before. I am not 100% against boo scares. There are a lot of movies that have effectively used boo scares, but you have to build tension, you have to build the atmosphere, you have to set the right environment, and you have to make it so that the audience isn't expecting it. With this, every time it was night, you would see the ghost, and then the ghost would disappear, and people would come in, and they'd be looking around, and then all of a sudden, (laughs) it just, it wasn't scary at all. It seemed like they were throwing just everything they could at the movie. The ghost camera, all the ghostly visuals, the 3D. They threw in time travel, but ultimately it was just wasted. If you're looking for a good movie or you're looking for a scary movie, you're better off just staying home and watching something else because this is, it's mediocre at best. It's nowhere near as bad as The Gallows. At least this one did have some cool visuals with the ghosts. And there were a couple of humorous moments in it. I I didn't hate the movie. I just thought it was very bland and just not good. I have to say this, so I'm going to say spoiler alert. If you don't want the last five seconds of the film ruined, just shut this off now. But I have to say this. So, spoiler alert. Okay. They had to end with something flying at the camera. Loud noise. (laughs) Bagool! It's just... It was so annoying. When they set up the last shot, I'm sitting there watching it and I'm like, oh no, they're going to bagool it, aren't they? And then they did. They couldn't help themselves. They had to do it. So I didn't like it. I thought it was a very weak ending to an otherwise cool series. It didn't have any of the things that made the other movies scary. It was just a lot of big blobby ghost ectoplasm flying around and jumping at the camera every time they had a chance. If you have to see how the series ends, just wait a month. It should be on DVD by then. There's some closure, but it's not a particularly satisfying ending. And you do kind of have to read into things a little bit more. I know a lot of people were upset because they were saying that there was no closure. And I disagree with that. I think that there was some closure. They did answer some questions about Toby and Katie, but they didn't really wrap everything up in a nice bow. Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. If you have to have closure on the series, wait for the DVD. Don't waste your time and money going to see it in the theater. That's all I got for now. I'll see you next time. 